It's moving day, everybody! It's the last few moments in this apartment. Take it all in. It's 9 a.m. The movers are gonna be here in about 30 minutes. I cannot believe I actually packed this place in maybe six hours. That's really, really good. How fast does that make you? Really fast! It's a mess in here, you guys. Like all the black trash bags are actually full of things I'm keeping. I took out the garbage already. And the movers who are coming, they're bringing like the mattress bag and stuff. This takes me back, y'all. If you've been here for a while, do you remember my apartment tour when I just kept doing this? I do this a lot. I'm, I'm not even Italian. <laughs> oh, we've come so far. Still a mess. I haven't figured out how I want to arrange anything over there at all. I just have not had the mental capacity to do that. Not me getting emotional already. We're not supposed to cry yet. Ugh. I cannot cry yet. I can probably do my makeup before the movers get here. Just in case there's a yeah, cute, cute one. Ah, almost forgot. How could I? If you're new here, hi, my name's Chelsea. I'm really thirsty, apparently. But anyways, I'm just your average weirdo, 30-something living alone here in New York City who happens to be moving today, yay, into a bigger apartment. Well, I hope they don't get here and I only have one eyebrow done. Speeds up. <laughs> I just like to make cute, fun videos of my life here, showcasing the most realistic sides to living in New York City and to living in general. Jeez, that might be the fastest I've ever done my eyebrows. See, I work great under pressure. It's so fun that I can officially say it now. For the last three years, I have been living in Central Harlem, a 20 minute walk from the Yankee Stadium, which has single-handedly been my biggest flex. And while I've genuinely loved this neighborhood, I am ready for a space I can grow into with a fresh start, which is the perfect way to start fall, in my opinion. Okay, not bad. All right, movers, I'm ready for you. Hi, can you lift this box for me? Возьмите четыре бокса обычно, ну маленький. Movers are not cute, but they are efficient. Just hanging out by the washer because there's like no space upstairs, and I don't want to be in their way. They're like really efficient. So yeah, they politely asked me to watch the moving truck that wasn't supposed to be parked in front of a hydrant so that I could potentially talk the officer out of giving them a ticket that they would end up charging me for. So here I am being a little moving princess, hanging out with my king, the Terminator, watching me from afar. So I got the crew some water and sodas and snacks. They took some already. I don't know what you're supposed to, what you're supposed to do. Like, is it? the standard that you like get them pizza too. So I realized that at least I was pretty hungry, so I popped into my bodega for the last time to get my favorite egg and cheese on a roll with tomato and mayo. Say goodbye to my sandwich man and enjoy a brief moment of calm. While I was eating, there was also a lady that walked by me and asked me why I was moving to this street and I told her I was moving out and she, and she was like, oh good, you're one of the smart ones. <laughs> Okay. Here's the thing about moving during a heat wave in New York City. You gotta stay hydrated. And even though I hired movers to carry literally everything for me, I'm still sweating just sitting here in this humidity. But you wanna know what actually made staying hydrated the least stressful part of my move? The sponsor of today's video, Water Drop. See this little guy? This is a micro drink. This small but mighty drop can fit into your pocket on the go and dissolve straight into your water bottle, adding bursts of flavor, thus enhancing your hydration experience. Each micro drink is sugar-free and made from real plant and fruit extracts. Plus is packed with essential vitamins, which helps you get the most out of your daily water intake. Rooted in sustainability, Water Drop's mission is to encourage you to drink more water so you can live a healthier and longer life, as well as our planet. Their packaging uses 98% less plastic than pre-filled drinks, helping you to minimize your carbon footprint. Water Drop also offers other innovative water enhancements in addition to the micro drink that I'm excited to try like the micro light, micro energy, and micro tea. There's really an option for every lifestyle, but if you ever need help finding where to start, they have a really helpful online quiz tailored to help you decide. Look at all these flavors. Peach ginger is my absolute favorite. It's truly mouthwatering. 
literally. Whatever the season, you have both hot or cold options, plus your personal choice of using still or sparkling water. Your experience is totally customizable. Like for me today, if I wasn't completely uprooting my life in this instance, I'd be throwing some ice into my micro drink to make it even more refreshing. And sometimes I combine flavors just for fun. Water Drop is generously offering 15% off for the next three weeks if you use my code CHELSEA at checkout. Make sure to not miss out on this great offer while you can. A big thank you to Water Drop for sponsoring today's video. Okay, I'm paying these movers by the hour. We gotta get to the new place. done and now i have all of this stuff wow this is so much space i don't know where my wi-fi is it got put in a box so i didn't have time to like get boxes obviously before i started moving out initially was going to but ran out of time so i had to pay for boxes for them to use on the fly today so no idea no idea where the wi-fi is ended up i feel like it couldn't have gone far i don't have that much stuff First thing I find is the plunger. <laughs> It's been a couple hours, but I wanted to tell you about this really cool thing that I did. I went into my bedroom for a nap and I closed my door. I get to close a door to my bedroom. Close a door! I'm getting hungry, so I looked up Thai place. I can order some food and then start tackling this place. How cool is this? Is it just weird to see me in a place with sun? Like, you can probably just see me so much better. I really do need to find a pair of scissors and toilet paper. No idea where to start. One thing at a time. Oh, and I need to turn the refrigerator on. It's unplugged. I'm getting a new refrigerator, but not until next Saturday. I don't know why they unplugged it. They said they wouldn't unplug it, but they did. Oh, also I spent about an hour trying to fig figure out the Wi-Fi, and it in fact does not work. So they have to send a technician out tomorrow. Rolling with the punches. Rolling with the punches. Hi, can I place an order for pickup? Chelsea, can I do a chicken pad thai and a thai iced tea, please? Thank you so much. Bye. Okay, so it was 20 minutes, but I was thinking of going and getting a cute little treat as well. I'll walk around and come back and show you, but I found the toilet paper, so we're good. I love my neighborhood. I love my neighborhood. This is so cool. Everyone's so friendly here, and I'm just so used to not looking people in the eye. And here, it's people are so nice. I'm so happy. This is so exciting. Let's sit down and eat, and then we can st clean a little bit and unpack a little bit. The Spectrum guy comes tomorrow, and he has to be able to walk through the door. Because that's not the situation right now. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see my upper lip sweat? In the right lighting? Yeah. You see the glisten. We got it. Cheesecake. Oh, I was gonna get, like, beer or... Champagne or something, or wine. I totally forgot. What a relief, right? Getting into a new apartment, finally. Everything has happened so fast that my brain cannot keep up. First night in the new place. But I am excited for the day that I wake up and feel like this actually feels like my home. Right now it doesn't feel that way yet, but eventually I know it will. It's been a while since I last moved. In my 20s, I always believed I was not born to stay in one place for long and to get out there and experience as much as possible because I could die at any moment and didn't want to have any regrets. I used to get really restless and it took me until my 30s to realize that while that was all fun and good and a part of my self-discovery, my life was lacking depth and I had no idea what stability was supposed to feel like, which made me afraid of it. But for the first time, I wanted to find out. It's pretty common, I think, the feeling of wanting to run 
run away to a new city to start over. And I'm no therapist or anything, but I think there's an importance in pinpointing where that feeling stems from before making the move. And I had to ask myself this time around too. Is it genuinely from wanting to try a new city or neighborhood out of excitement for personal or professional growth opportunities? <laughs> Or was there something being ran from, whether it be someone else or from yourself? Does some actual pain exist that needs attention first? Nasty. And there's no wrong answer here, and either scenario takes equal bravery to act upon. But oh my god, if I've learned anything from my lifetime of running away, it's that the feelings always come back at some point. And while a new environment does help to heal, for me personally, I realized I needed to spend more effort looking for reasons to stay and ground instead of pick up and run until I was ready. On the bath mat. I'm trying to keep my bedroom cool with the AC because it's not strong enough to fill the whole apartment. I'm already sweating through the shirt. Woo! Is the back sweaty too? It's been a really long day and despite having taken a nap, I'm wiped. My legs hurt for some reason and I didn't lift a finger during the move. <laughs> oh, the movers were, um, so the company I used was excellent quality movers. I really like them. They did a really nice job. Um, although this move for everything was $1,006, not including tip, which I tipped 20% on top of that. It's so much more than I was expecting, but it's because I just really didn't have time to get all the boxes. And that was for like the last minute boxes, the tolls for the drivers, extra bubble tape and stuff, and for the mattress bag for the box spring in the mattress and the setup and takedown of my bed all, like just that that extra stuff I think added a couple hundred extra dollars wow I look like I'm glowing it's all sweat baby <laughs> also I was in my bathroom cleaning my shower you know I have the window open in the shower as I'm cleaning and then I look up and there's someone right there in the building next to me with his window up I think we're really just like 10 feet apart. I could see that he had noticed me and I like looked over, looked over. I think that's a really funny way to meet someone. It's like kind of the plot of a rom-com. <laughs> Anyways, I'll keep you updated on that. Um, did I even give you a tour? I don't think I did. Did I? Well, I'll give you another one here. Bathroom. <laughs> Neighbor. This is all gonna be us here. So I'll do like an official apartment tour once things are decorated, which might be in a few months. Is it? Okay. Actually, this might be more difficult than I thought. With everything everywhere. We'll just have to summarize. Oh, no, there's me. Hi, me. Light. Ooh, two closets. Door. Living space. This <laughs> is so bad. <laughs> We're getting a new fridge on Saturday, so this low vibrational fridge is not gonna be here. I don't know what the new one's gonna look like. I hope it's stainless steel. Kitchen's counter space. This is a low vibrational sink. Here's like a second room. More closets. It mirrors the other one. I think I want to put my desk here, maybe, so I can like work next to the light or like edit next to the light. And then I ordered a washing machine. And I'm getting a washing machine. I'm so excited for the washing machine. My dream is coming true. And also, I don't pay for water here. Except for the machine, obviously. Well, this is the bedroom. Yeah, that dark spot on the mattress cover, that's from coffee. Don't worry, from like three years ago or more. No, yeah, no, yeah, it's been a while. They left this AC in here. Cool. So that's pretty much the tour. Let's put the bed together and then call it a night been quite a day and then shower because I'm sweaty and then we'll call it a night you've been gone Coffee. Oh, right? 
So if you've made it to this part of the video and you're watching in real time, I want to know what your thoughts are on maybe having a housewarming party for us all, like over YouTube Live or something. If you're watching this much later, then I will make sure to link the live recording in the description box so you can still join us. I think it would be really fun to do on a Saturday night or something once my apartment is all set up and designed, so it might be a minute, but it would be cool to have us all together hanging out to really celebrate since you all have been on this moving endeavor with me. Maybe I can figure out a way to facilitate some like online games we can play or something for y'all to get to know each other too. Anyways, I think it would be fun, but let me know what you think. the most beautiful view of the moon. I have direct moonlight. I, w I know like my camera's not gonna do it justice, but we'll try. The little white blob. It's pretty early still, it's not even 11 o'clock, but I'm wiped. But yeah, stay tuned, more moving content, unpacking, designing, lots of stuff as well as my regular vlogs. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. The engagement really helps YouTube recognize my channel and push it out to other awesome people like you. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and for sharing this really special day with me. This was, this was a big one. So filled with gratitude that this is my life. Like I couldn't, I couldn't be happier. I'm just been on the verge of tears for this whole day. I'm gonna finish my cheesecake and I'll see you in my next video.